Welcome back to America Right Now. I'm Tom Basile. We've got a lot coming up in this final hour, so let's get right to it, including former South Carolina governor and GOP presidential candidate Nikki Haley. She's going to be here in just a minute. But first, the head of the country's second largest teachers union is comparing advocates of school choice and parental rights to segregationists when it comes to their child's education, even though school choice is very popular with minority parents. This comes as the American Federation of Teachers launched a new $5 million ad campaign claiming that their union is under attack by so-called extremists. Our correspondent Sarah Williamson joins us live now to break this all down. Sarah. This is an interesting one, Tom, because according to the AFT president, Randy Weingarten, if you are for school choice or believe in having parental rights over your child, child, you're basically on the same level as the segregationists from back in 1950. Take a listen to this. Those same words that you heard in terms of um, warning segregation post Brown v. Board of Education, those same words you hear today. It's not, you know, I, I was I was kind of gobsmacked when I was on the I was talking to Southern Poverty Law Center and they showed me the same words, choice, um, parental rights. Now, after her comments went viral, she then expanded on them with this Twitter post, now X post. Uh, this is an example of the extremism we face. I said I was shocked that a small group of extremists were using the noxious words of segregationists and observed the vast majority of parents and educators reject it. Now, using the word extremism is upsetting a few people here because these parents feel that this is how the AFT is going to label anyone who disagrees with them. Them. And her latest ad campaign could be seen as proof of that. Watch. Extremists try to divide us, smearing educators and public schools. Now, if you go by this logic, this next woman could be considered an extremist by the union, but she doesn't care. That's Nicole Neely, president of the Parents Defending Education. Contrary to Weingarten's comments, Neely says that the National Federation of Teachers Union and current Federal Education Department are the real segregationists. Schools across America are actively segregating students on the basis of skin color in public schools on a regular basis. They do these through programs um, called affinity groups, sometimes healing circles. But there are public schools that regularly will break out programming for children and say, this is for black students. This is for Latinx students. This is for Asian students. Now, she does add that the reason why Weingarten would want to demonize the words school choice and parental rights is fairly obvious. So the fewer students that are in public schools, the fewer public school teachers there are. And that weakens the amount of money that Randy Weingarten has. It limits the amount of power they have. And with less money and less power, they have less influence. Now, Newsmax has reached out to Randy Weingarten for comment on this, but has received no response. Back to you. No surprise there. Thank you, Sarah. Appreciate it.